After a relatively calm yet solid 2019, 2020 is looking like it's going to be an absolute knockout year for video games. The first half of the year is already packed with more heavy hitters than what our wallets might consider a healthy amount, while the second half will see the advent of a brand new console generation with the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. That's super exciting, doubly so because there's still so much we don't know about them, like what games they'll be launching with, for instance. And when we considered the fact that we have no idea what Nintendo have got up their sleeve for most of the year, we realized that we basically don't even know half the story when it comes to 2020. It may very well end up becoming the greatest yet for video games to date. But even from what we do know, there's already an embarrassment of riches with upcoming major releases in the coming months, and here, in this feature, we'll be talking about the 20 games confirmed to launch this year that we absolutely cannot wait to get our hands on. So, enough talk, let's jump right in. No More Heroes 3 Travis Touchdown returned to the spotlight last year with the eccentric Travis Strikes Again No More Heroes, but 2020 is going to be the year he truly comes back. With his trusty beam katana by his side and all the craziness and violence that usually goes hand in hand with a No More Heroes game, the upcoming sequel is looking like it's going to be an insane, bizarre, amazing time. Though it doesn't yet have a specific launch date, it is scheduled for a 2020 release. Here's hoping it doesn't suffer any significant delays. Dying Light 2 The original Dying Light was a solid game, especially after post-launch fixes. But with its upcoming sequel, it looks like Techland are ready to show what they're really made of. Dying Light 2 is going to have all the parkour and post-apocalyptic shenanigans of its predecessor, but on top of that, it's also placing a lot of its chips on player choice, and how the story, the characters, and the game's world itself react to all of your choices. This is definitely going to be one to keep an eye on. Dreams The earliest release on this list, Dreams is also the game we've known about for the longest. Having been in development for years, Media Molecule are finally ready to push it into the hands of creators the world over, and there's a lot of cause for excitement. Dream's suite of creation tools is staggeringly large, and will only get larger over time, and the possibilities of what people the world over will create are endless. Add to that a story mode and the fact that Media Molecule are committed to making sure that Dreams grows and stays relevant for a long time to come, and what you've got is a game, if you can even call it that, that may just become one of PlayStation's most important exclusives ever. Half-Life Alex. Is it finally time to put the Half-Life 3 confirmed meme to bed? Because though the upcoming VR exclusive Half-Life Alex doesn't have the number 3 in its title, it's still Half-Life 3 in all but name, at least that's what Valve would have us believe. As the next major chapter in the series, this is a game that millions and millions have been anticipating for so long. Valve's legendary legacy and the cachet that Half-Life carries are enough to kick the collective hype for this game in the industry through the stratosphere, while the potential of what it can do with VR also makes it a game that might have a huge, huge impact on the industry and the way it treats virtual reality. Neo 2 there were 13 years separating the beginning of Neo's development and its eventual launch, but thankfully, we're not going to have to wait nearly as long for its sequel. Neo 2 is looking excellent, and for fans of the first game, it's hitting all of the notes it needs to, taking the excellent foundation laid down by its predecessor and building on it even further. The crazy elements seem to have been dialed up to 11, while the combat is looking as mechanically solid as ever. March 13th cannot get here soon enough. Yakuza Like a Dragon It's often said that the best franchises are the ones that aren't afraid to take some risks and completely reinvent themselves from time to time. After finishing Kazuma Kiryu's story with Yakuza 6, Sega's franchise is certainly taking an unexpected turn, dropping its brawler trappings and turning into a full-fledged, turn-based JRPG, with a new protagonist, a new story, and a new setting. It's looking fresh, it's looking exciting, and best of all, it's still, somehow, looking like Yakuza. Yakuza Like a Dragon is due out in the West sometime this year. Let's hope an exact release date announcement isn't far away. Tales of Arise Bandai Namco's Tales series has lost its way somewhat in the past few years. 2016's Berseria was certainly a step in the right direction, for the most part, and this year's Arise is looking like it's going to be a significant leap forward. 
With a darker aesthetic, a shift in tone, and stunning visuals unlike anything this franchise has ever delivered, Tales of Arise might just be the shot in the arm to revitalize this beloved franchise. Ori and the Will of the Wisps the Metroidvania genre has exploded in popularity over the past decade, and one of the best games we've played in the genre in recent memory is Moon Studios' excellent Ori in the Blind Forest. Somehow, impossibly, the upcoming Will of the Wisps is looking like it's going to be even better, and that's because it's doing exactly what an ideal sequel should, building on the greatest strengths of its predecessor. Ori is all about fluid movement, tight level design, excellent music, and stellar visuals. And from everything we've seen of it so far, it looks like Ori and the Will of the Wisps is going to deliver that in spades. Watch Dogs Legion With Watch Dogs, Ubisoft did what it always does with its franchises, release a disappointing first game that fails to capitalize on its interesting premise before delivering a sequel that is significantly better and delivers on that potential much more effectively. With Watch Dogs Legion, that upward trajectory may very well continue. It's staggering just how ambitious this game is looking. You can play as literally every single NPC in the game, and it feels kind of silly to call them NPCs now. And each of them, allegedly, has their own unique attributes, strengths, personalities, and voice lines. The possibilities, in theory, are endless. It's a Herculean task, and if the game can deliver on even a fraction of that promise, it may very well end up being one of the year's standout experiences. Halo Infinite Oh, Halo, how we've missed you. 343 Industries say they've been learning from all of the mistakes they've made, which means they ought to be pretty damn wise by now. We've seen and heard very, very little of Halo Infinite so far, but what we do know has got our curiosity peaked for sure. The return of Master Chief, a return to the series' roots, a reinvention of the Halo formula. These are things the series has been in desperate need of after the disappointment that was Halo 5. Here's hoping 343 can make good on their promises, because Halo is an industry giant that has been asleep far too long. Doom Eternal Speaking of sleeping giants and first-person shooters, the big daddy of first-person shooters made a triumphant return in 2016 when id Software and Bethesda released the amazing Doom. It left us hungry for more, and more is what we're getting very soon. Doom Eternal is looking amazing. Fast, furious, disgustingly gory, and ridiculously violent. The things all Doom games need to be. What's really got us hyped about Doom Eternal is that it's not just doing more of the same, it's actually expanding itself with better movement options, new crazy weapons and demons, and what sounds like a promising expansion of the series' mythos and story. Oh, and there's multiplayer, which surprisingly enough looks and sounds awesome, so there's that as well. Marvel's Avengers after years of teases, Square Enix finally unveiled their Avengers title last year at E3, and though reactions to the game has been somewhat muted as compared to what they may have expected, there's no doubt that there's a lot to look forward to with this game. There's a few things it needs to nail perfectly. The story, the characters, and most importantly, the combat. If Marvel's Avengers can successfully make each of its characters feel unique and fun to use, and if it can meld that combat with a rewarding and engaging progression system, there's no doubting that it'll be an excellent game. Add to that the prospect of continuous post-launch support from Square for the foreseeable future, and this may just end up being a game we keep coming back to for years. Fingers crossed. Vampire The Masquerade Bloodlines 2 we were all caught by surprise when Hardsuit Labs and Paradox Interactive announced that they were working on a sequel to the 2004 cult classic Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, but now that the surprise has worn off, we're left with nothing but giddy anticipation. Bloodlines 2 is promising to retain all the core strengths of its beloved predecessor while also fixing its many, many issues, and if it successfully does that, it may very well become one of the best RPG releases of the year, which is really saying something. Persona 5 Royal Atlas looked at Persona 5, a 100-hour-long RPG, and thought, hey, you know what this game needs? More content! But hey, we're not complaining. Persona 5 was excellent, and more Persona 5 is something we're very, very excited about. If Persona 5 Royal can meaningfully add to and improve upon the base game the way Persona 4 Golden or Persona 3 FES did, which it probably will, that would make it an even better version of what is already one of the greatest role-playing games of all time not too shabby. Cyberpunk 2077 
It's hard to think of Cyberpunk 2077 and not immediately combust in an explosion of excitement and anticipation. First revealed many, many years ago and then re-revealed in 2018, Cyberpunk 2077 is finally coming out on April 16th and is without a doubt one of the biggest releases of the year, if not the entire generation. And that's not just because it's being made by the people who developed The Witcher 3, though that is certainly a huge factor. It's also because Cyberpunk is looking legitimately amazing, promising the same mature, complex, and choice-driven storytelling that the studio is known for, while also putting much more emphasis on player expression and freedom of choice through actual gameplay than The Witcher ever did. It's also got Keanu Reeves. It's almost too much. Animal Crossing New Horizons March through April is going to be a hectic period, and most of us are going to be occupied with slaying demons from hell, hanging out with Keanu Reeves, summoning personas, trudging through Midgar, more on that in a bit, and running from an indestructible bioweapon, more on that in a bit as well. So it's good that in the midst of all of that, we'll also have Animal Crossing to keep us company. It's the perfect relaxing game. Jump in for 20 minutes at a time, hang out with talking animals on a deserted island, catch some bugs, and do other mundane stuff that's oddly soothing and enjoyable. Animal Crossing New Horizons is out on Switch on March 20th. The Last of Us Part 2 It's Naughty Dog, it's The Last of Us. We don't really need to explain why we're excited about this one, but let's do it anyway for the sake of consistency. With the first game, Naughty Dog delivered one of the best stories we've ever seen in a game, powered by two characters that were written and acted better than nearly every other video game character ever made. The prospect of seeing them on screen once again makes our head dizzy with excitement. Meanwhile, all the improvements The Last of Us Part II is making to its gameplay are looking solid as well. Better combat, better stealth, more enemy variety, deeper customization, and exploration. The Last of Us was lightning in a bottle, and the chances of recapturing that magic with a sequel is slim. But if there's any studio in the industry that can do exactly that, it's gonna be Naughty Dog. Ghost of Tsushima The beginning of the PS4's life was accompanied by Infamous Second Son, a game made by Sucker Punch. So it's oddly fitting that the last major first-party game to release on the system is also going to be a Sucker Punch title. And by the looks of it, it's going to be much better than their previous one. Ghost of Tsushima has looked stunning in all that we've seen of it so far, from its visuals and its art style to its setting and its narrative premise. We've been asking for a samurai Assassin's Creed game for years now, and Ghost of Tsushima looks like it's going to deliver exactly that kind of experience, except it's going to be backed by the production values and polish that one usually expects to see in Sony's first-party titles. Final Fantasy VII Remake Five years on from its initial announcement, Final Fantasy VII Remake is finally coming out on March 3rd, and it may very well be the biggest release of the year, in spite of the stiff competition it faces. Square Enix is taking this chance to use the resources and technology at their disposal to do justice to their original vision of the game, and expanding it to an almost baffling extent. The first part of this multi-part release, set entirely in Midgar, is supposed to be a full-fledged, full-length RPG backed by high production values and what looks like an excellent combat system. Not often do we get remakes that are actually better than the games that they're based on, but this may very well end up being one of those rare cases. Considering the fact that the original Final Fantasy VII is considered one of the greatest games of all time, the prospect of a remake that's even better is, to say the least, a mouth-watering one. Resident Evil 3 Resident Evil and Capcom are both back with a bang, and no, we're not tired of saying that just yet. Last year's Resident Evil 2 was stellar and is probably one of the best games of this generation, and very soon, Capcom are going to release a remake for Resident Evil 3 in that same vein. It's an exciting prospect, an expanded version of the original PS1 title backed by the impressive RE engine is a game that may very well knock our socks off. Running around Raccoon City while a rocket launcher wielding nemesis incessantly hunts us down is a recipe for the perfect horror dish. Let's hope Capcom continues its recent hot run of form and hits yet another home run. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.